So, Tom, I heard that you're a huge yeah. Star Wars nerd, <laughs> that you absolutely loved it. In fact, you once even auditioned to be Anakin. I did audition to be Anakin. That is good <laughs> niche trivia. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't get the part, so uh, uh, unfortunately. I mean... It like it would be interesting to see how Star Wars would have turned out if it was you instead of Hayden Christensen. Um, yeah, all wild. my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would but... I, mean, I am. I, I do have another bit of Star Wars trivia. I am actually in Star Wars though, in another way. Oh um, yeah. In Return of the Jedi. So when they remade, uh, when they remastered all of uh, the original trilogy in the nineties. So this was before the Phantom Menace and that that trilogy came out. The prequels. Um, they added in like loads of special effects. I don't know how well you know Star Wars. They added in like loads of new special effects. The original yeah, trilogy yeah. to like Jabba the Hutt was like a CGI Jabba the Hutt. And they redid the end of Return of the Jedi and they changed the Ewok song. So instead of like the Yab Nub like Ewok song that they used to sing, John Williams wrote a new one and I'm in the choir that sings on that version of Return of the Jedi. Oh wow, mm. I did not that know that. Star Wars <laughs> claim to fame. Incredible. I tell my, every time we watch Star Wars, I tell my kids as well. They're so sick of me telling them that I'm in Star Wars. <laughs> I mean, if if that was my little tidbit of Star Wars, I'd I'd be sharing that nonstop, like all the time yeah. in the choir. Exactly. Well, we're gonna be playing uh, Lego Star Wars, um, and I figured before starting a new game, I'd ask you, out of the the three trilogies, which one do you want to go for? We've got the option of Episode One, Episode Four, or Episode Seven. Episode one, episode four, episode seven. Oh, well, my, do you know what? My kids are actually watching episode four right now in the other room. So oh, really? I feel like maybe that's an omen and we should go for episode four. Okay, let's go for it. We'll start uh, episode four. So Lego Star Wars isn't exactly a new thing. We had Lego Star Wars before many, 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 many years ago. Uh, and I'm guessing you were pretty much like me and every other kid our age where we were just on the Lego Star Wars hype from day one, just constantly collecting all the studs to become a true de Jedi every level. <laughs> yeah, that was 100% <laughs> me. Yeah, that's what I think so cool, like, because I feel like I'm reliving those, like, I've really lived through this once and I'm getting to do it again with my own kids, which yeah. is a really kind of unique, cool experience. Although I do find myself constantly now just battling with my kids to be like, uh, like I, I feel like I'm the Jedi and I need to impart my my Lego Star Wars knowledge onto them. But of course, like most kids, they do not want to listen to their father. So uh, <laughs> I'm just so annoying for, them all. Uh, for your kids, I guess the first Star Wars trilogy is the, the sequel trilogy for them, right? Well, yeah, although I, so I sat down with Buzz. So we used to have like, this like father son time. This is when I only had one. I have three boys now. Um, but when um, when uh, when Buzz was a bit younger, our bonding time was building Star Wars Lego and watching Star Wars. And we started with the original trilogy with four, five, and six. So we started there, and now we've kind of we've kind of done it in funny order. I guess I've done it in the order that I experienced it with the match. I just realised this. So I did four, five, and six with them. Then went back and did one, two, and three. And then the new ones. Oh, okay. So I guess I'm, and I didn't actually realize I did it that way, but I guess I must have done it that way because that's the way that I experienced Star Wars. But hey, they 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 love it. So I I, I guess I did it. They did something right. They're that, into that's it. So good sign. It, it would have been proper awkward. You know you've done your job well as a dad if they're into Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. I mean, that's exactly what my dad says all the time because my dad watched. Uh, four, five, and six back when they came out in cinemas, and he got me in, into them. So my first trilogy was technically the prequel tri trilogy. But like, right. like what you did with your kids, I first watched mm -hmm. four, five, six at home when it was on VHS. Then I watched one, two, three, and then seven, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah, I I like it that way. I was like, the, I think I must have been like thirteen when one when episode one came out. So I was like perfect age to be into pod racing, you know, not everything. <laughs> in well, I loved it all. It was great. Um, so, are you playing you played... this right now? Are you playing? Uh, oh yeah. So to to make clear to people that will watch this, uh, I am playing right now. I am Princess Leia, uh, and I'm doing what you I always do in every. I didn't even realize that you were playing <laughs> yeah. that and talking. 
it's a uh, all part and parcel of the job, you know. Got to got to multitask when you stream uh, for yeah. uh, Gaming Bible's Facebook page. <laughs> I know this. You're way better than I was when when me and Buzz were uh, playing it and they were filming us. I was just uh, in the game. I was not <laughs> talking. I was trying to beat my son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Did you have any luck beating your son, or was Buzz a bit too good? No, we actually. He, I was just annoying him because we were playing uh, the level where you you get to fly the Millennium Falcon, which, by the way, is really really awesome. But one of you gets to uh, be on the guns and be the gunner, and one of you gets to fly. And I was, my son obviously wanted to shoot the Tie Fighters, so I was flying, and I was a terrible pilot and kept crashing. So I was just annoying him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. but it is super cool. Getting to fly the Falcon is a really cool moment when you get to that bit. Poor Buzz, uh, but yeah, mm. I've I've uh, played bits and bobs of this one already. I started so with me, I went chronological order, so I started with episode right. one, um, just because I, I like just to see how things play out from the beginning of Anakin's downfall all the way to Ray's rise. Um, yeah, but oh, here he is. Here so he is. It was interesting because I was chatting to a colleague of mine about this, and it it feels like that they took a bit of Rogue One inspiration here. With you know how Rogue One ends uh, with Darth Vader, yeah, 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 complete badass. It feels like amazing. Spoiler alert, everyone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, uh, but like that scene is impeccable, and it feels like that's what's just happened here. Is the Lego yeah, it is that amazing scene. actually that moment. Yeah, I mean that is what's cool about this game. And anyone who's a, like a Star Wars fan, like we all know what happens, and like getting to—that's what's exciting about playing through it—is like you know what's coming up, and you know you're going to get to play all of those, all of those yeah, moments. Exactly, it's just so good. Um, speaking of um, like things that spin off from the main series, are you yourself a fan of any of the um, other Star Wars uh, stuff, like? Rebels or Star Wars, the Clone Wars series, or anything like that. Yeah, do you know what? I, well, I have watched them, but I, I'm, I'm a bit more old school. I think I'm probably a bit older than you, and I, I like the nostalgia of. I don't know if you ever watched like, um, uh, like the old Ewok cartoons when I was a kid. <laughs> there was like an Ewok series. Yeah, yeah I don't watch them. Series. Yeah, they're so good. And there's also like there's two spin-off Ewok movies as well. I think one of them's called Caravan of Courage, and I forget what the other one's called. I, I love those growing up. Too. I'm a big fan of uh, the, the spin-offs. That is um, proper old school. Oh my god, there you go. Yeah, that is really old school. Um, what else am I, do I like? I mean, I, there's. I think what's so amazing about Star Wars now is there is just so much. There like is. there is so much. There is loads i've never been up here before my son loves all these but it's actually the fun like the comedy little uh like easter eggs that are put in like uh, clone troopers on a pizza box like with a little chef boxes. hat <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh oops. he finds these hilarious um how uh how much of lego Star Wars have you played so far then like how far did well, you we had buzz? we 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 actually had a um we were very lucky because ours was all unlocked, so we can jump around to wherever we want to go. Oh my god! So we didn't. We didn't. Yeah, you know, I know. We. I felt. Uh, I felt um, very lucky there, so we could <laughs> just jump around and go into any of the uh, any of the movies. My personal favourite is um, Empire Strikes Back. That's oh, always okay. been my favourite movie. So getting we jumped in and played that one. Buzz likes Return of the Jedi, which I think might be an age thing because when I was his age, I loved Return of the Jedi as well. But as I've got older, I've, I'm more into um, Empire Strikes Back now. The darker one, <laughs> the darker moody one. I I'm not too sure which one's my favourite. You know, like I, it's hard to say. I got, I have a, a bit of a soft spot. I know this is going to be a controversial thing to say, but I have a bit of a soft spot for Phantom Menace. Do you know what I do too? There's oh. so much to like about Phantom Menace. I feel like because I, I I think I'm a bit older than you, but I feel like I was just perfect age to be into like dual lightsabers. Yeah. Darth Maul, he's wicked. Exactly. Pod racing. There's a lot to like about the Phantom Menace. Right. And <laughs> this is what I say. I like yeah. seeing see Darth Maul, Ray Parker show up with his dual lightsaber as well. And Jewel of the Fates. I mean, we got that from the Phantom Menace. <laughs> I, come on, it's amazing. Exactly. The soundtrack's great. Yeah. I, I like it. it. I, I, I love it, Phantom Menace. And then... Yeah, I don't know what which one's... 
out four, five, and six is my personal favourite. I think I'm gonna have to go Empire Strikes Back as well. Yeah, come on, it's so good. It's like a cliffhanger ending. Don't know what's exactly. gonna happen. Like it's brilliant. It just so perfectly fills that gap between three and four, you know. Yeah. I am trying to multitask. By the way, I would not be able to do what you're doing right now and play <laughs> this and come on at the same time. I'm reaching the point where I'm slowly, like, getting lost <laughs> in the game and forgetting that you're actually right beside me watching this. <laughs> uh, where am I going? This way. Let's do this. You know what's really cool, I think, for me now is that I, I used to play video games all the time. I loved playing video games. And, like, growing up, it was a big part of my, my life, playing video games. Oh, yeah. And What, uh, what was your first console? My first ever console would have been Mega Drive. Nice. And then, I guess the default, because I was at an age where it was, you know, PlayStation, Xbox, when they first all came about, you know, came about. Yeah, yeah. So, it was, um, you know, the uh, big leaps in kind of gaming technology, it was like, it was incredible. It was amazing. But obviously, life got in the way a bit, and I haven't <laughs> been able to play so much lately now, but I find now my kids are reaching that age, like, Mr. So Buzz is eight. And so he's starting to get into video games now. And I'm Perfect. like, ah, I have, you know, there are games now which I can play with him and get back into gaming. Yeah, I feel like yeah. this is, like, the perfect excuse <laughs> for me to have that time playing with him, but also get back into playing video games. It's such a good bonding thing as well. Like, I used to play uh, games with my, my dad on the PC too, and it was like, just a good bonding time uh, with, your, with your parents. I'm sure like Buzz absolutely loves, especially Lego Star Wars. What a great game to play with your family. Like, I, I, well, yeah, I play I Lego Star Wars. Just, like, yeah, it's not just playing a video game, it's actually playing something, like Star Wars is quite unique because for me it's like the nostalgia of something I grew up with. You know, I grew up, I, actually I inherited all of the toys and stuff and the love of the movies from my older cousins who oh, nice. saw it with the first time around. So that's, you know, all even then passed down to me from another generation. And now, so I have like the nostalgia side of it, but because there's now so much new Star Wars stuff, yeah. my kids are discovering all of the new stuff. And I'm like, well, you know, there's, there's, it's the perfect crossover that there's stuff for them that feels totally current and up to date and, and modern, but also like the sentimental nostalgic stuff for me that reminds me of my childhood. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I don't think there's anything else really that's like that. No, absolutely and obviously, not. And then adding Lego to the mix. I mean, that is like the perfect marriage. It, it really is. I swear Lego is just timeless. You can be like in your 60s and it's still all right to <laughs> play yeah. with Legos. Yeah, forever. Also, it's the per like, I can't, someone said this the other day. It's the perfect thing. If you're like creatively minded, it's the perfect way of being creative and building let's like feel like you're creating something but also switching off your mind and being like in the moment a bit it's quite something yeah. quite peaceful and mindful about um about playing with lego have you got so, any yeah. lego star wars sets oh yeah we loads actually they're all r2s over there somewhere oh amazing like, yeah wait <laughs> <laughs> Two. Oh my god, that's we've got loads, but they're all kind of I actually still haven't unpacked. Everything's in we moved house, so I'm still um I'm so disorganized. I moved house last <laughs> September and I still haven't unpacked. Um so all my Amazing. Stuff is still, like in boxes. Um so yeah, we have quite a lot. I like they, that oh, we have a lot of Lego. Lego R2 is unpacked though, like that that's out and yeah. ready. I, I love the priorities. Yeah, I, I all of, so the other ones so I've got two Millennium Falcons, one from the white one from Solo. Nice. The, the the movie and then the the other one, uh, but they're both they're both being played with right now. They're in the <laughs> other room. <laughs> do, do you do you uh, get like a bit tense? I found, like I, before I had kids, the toys were mine. Yeah. Now I have to share. Now I have to play with other people. <laughs> oh bless them. Yeah, That's I can't a... be precious about my toys anymore. Gosh, I've got like <laughs> uh, I mean I'm the same. I've got like small little Lego sets here. I don't have kids yet myself, but I feel like when that happens, it's going to be so, like, it's going to be lovely to part part ways with them, but also, like, you spent time building them, so you're going to be like, ah! Yeah, it's a good excuse to buy more toys, but they're not yours anymore, and that's the problem. Yeah. 
At least yeah. you've got a good excuse to have more toys, though. Like I can't. I think I'll be exactly. getting a couple of stairs if I try to go to the toy shop now to buy some some <laughs> some wild thing that I've seen on on an advert. This is, yeah. I literally just I just left the other, they're literally just watching this bit when I left the other room. Oh really? Oh my god! Yeah. Amazing. Just so in sync. Uh, where is C3PO? There he is. <laughs> so at the moment, I just play this with my girlfriend. Like <laughs> my girlfriend, I told her when Lego Star Wars was coming out, I said I'm so excited to finally like play this with you. And she's never played Star Wars or w watched any of Star Wars, so it's all like different to so her. So is she playing this before seeing the movies? Is she, she gonna is know this. what happened? before yeah, the right. movies and discovered that what happened <laughs> in star wars through lego star wars this is going to be her gateway um <laughs> a bless her like she she says she's not into star wars but i feel like a bit more time with me and we'll change that opinion yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I i did that with my wife she'd never <laughs> seen star wars and i was like you wait you you wait she's now uh, a huge star wars fan oh she loves it now yeah she's well <laughs> nice. into it that's yeah. exactly what I'm going to be Actually, doing. I think maybe some of my kids probably watched some of the Lego Star Wars, um, you know, like the animations before. I think they, there was probably some of those that they watched before some of the films. They had few, quite a few of those, like, streaming somewhere. Um, I haven't watched it. Like, for me, so I love Star Wars, and I've watched, like, the, the, the Rebel series and the Clone Wars series. Because, like, it ties into, like, the Mandalorian. I love this, like, little Easter egg. Just... <laughs> clone trooper just showering away <laughs> oh wait no there's another one else somewhere here hang on where is it oh well not that one i swear that there's somewhere and there's a group of them just chilling wait it's this one i bet you this one there they are <laughs> <laughs> just chilling <Poor. laughs> um um yeah, so you like how they're like yeah how the animated series ties in yeah like, it fills ties in into, the like the mandalorian now which is great i love the mandalorian um the mandalorian series. i haven't done the boba fett series yet i'm a bit behind boba on that fett. i've done two episodes but i haven't finished it yet it's it's good it's good fun like it's just interesting to see more of boba fett considering he's been mm. like such a small time character like he's so well known yet such a small time character in the star wars universe or was a small time i know character. yeah i was just we watched return of the jedi the other week and they were asking about um, about Boba Fett, and I, I found myself telling them a bit of like what happens in the series. I was like, no, I need to wait and not tell them stuff because <laughs> Star Wars is one of those things that like I feel like so they already knew everything about Star Wars before they saw it yeah. because it's just kind of in like you know it's just common knowledge, isn't it? We all know who Darth Vader is and who Luke, how Luke and Leia are like. They didn't discover that the way that I discovered it. It's just kind of common knowledge now. So I was like, yeah. actually, I need to stop telling them about the stuff and let them watch something and find, have their own moment of discovery. Um, oh, nice. I love that this is the same part that you ki kids are currently watching now. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go back in and watch. Uh, it's literally just, I'm going to go back in and take over on the movie where, <laughs> where you've left off. I feel like there's a few differences, you know, less Lego in the actual version, but still all makes sense. When my when my little my youngest, so he's now three, but when he was a bit younger, he used to make me put on Star Wars in the morning. And he oh, really? really liked the Imperial March. He liked like the dum dum dum. Yeah, he liked the music. So I used to, in the morning when he woke up, I just have to put like the Imperial March on my phone and just put it next to his cot, and then he'd go back to sleep. Oh. Da, 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 da. I was like, what kid falls back to sleep to the Imperial March? <laughs> I was going to say, that's a, that's a very interesting one. I, uh, I know, it's a weird to see one how, uh, <laughs> how his future turns out. I know. Next thing I you know, he's swinging a red lightsaber down the street. Mask. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Do you, do you own lightsabers? <laughs> oh, you've got to own lightsabers. You must own lightsabers. We, uh, honestly... They're swinging them around. We have a whole collection of lightsabers. We've got some really cool ones now that you can like open up and see the crystal inside and stuff as well. When, oh, when no I was way. a kid, there were no toy lightsabers. You could not get a toy lightsaber. Yeah. We, uh, honestly, we have so many now. We've got a few broken ones as well where, where our lightsaber battles have got a bit out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's what I'm missing. I'm missing someone to have a lightsaber battle with. I'm, I, I might actually just buy my girlfriend a lightsaber. I feel like that's yeah, the next step. <laughs> Yeah, well, they found so we've got like the ones that you can connect together and stuff, and like you know, 
configure the way you want to configure them. And oh, I've got nice. a special one. I've got one of like the the replica ones that is meant to be kept out of the way somewhere nice, but they've oh, discovered okay. my hiding place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh no, I've got just above me actually. Hang on, I can grab it. Uh, this is my lightsaber. It's a Luke's lightsaber. Nice. Yeah, I got Very this nice. was a, a Christmas gift from my parents because all year I said to them, yeah. like, I really want a lightsaber. Like, just like completely without any subtlety. I was like, yeah, I just want a lightsaber every single day of the year. And eventually for Christmas, they got me a lightsaber. <laughs> you go. I have a cool star. I'm, um, Matt Willis who is in Busted. He got me that. Oh, where is it there? The Star Wars skateboard. Oh, wow. Amazing. Amazing. The R2 and 3P on it. <laughs> We've got loads of Star Wars stuff around here. Again, I love the priorities of what's been unpacked. <laughs> you know, I do have. I've got a Star Wars VHS. Nice. Old school. I've got the same one. Yeah. My kids will never know what this does. I know. It's going to be so, so far into them. I mean, this is what I have in my office. I have Star Wars VHSs. <laughs> and no way to play them. <laughs> and Lego R two D two. Perfect. I mean, what more do you need, really? I think that's that's exactly. you all set. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing is that's what you that's what I find inspiring. That's this is the kind of thing you want in your. This is where I write. So it's the kind of thing you want here, isn't it? You want something that like inspires you and. Absolutely. Yeah. That that's why I've got like the like literally above my work desk is where the lightsaber is. It's it's the lightsaber, a batarang. And then a photo of me and my girlfriend. I feel like nice. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Is that in order of like the things you would save if there was a fire? <laughs> uh, uh -huh, absolutely. Lightsaber, yeah, light rang. Uh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and I've only got two hands as well, so unfortunately that might mean the photo might be a lost cause. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. She's got a copy in her in her flat as well. We're all good. There you go. <laughs> um, I didn't get this far when uh, when I played a song with uh, with Buzz. Well, this is like, it's very open worldy now. So like, I know it's so, what's so amazing, isn't it? Like that is really cool. Want. I watched a little bit actually of like the making of when they were uh, of the game. It was so I love the making of stuff actually. I love the behind the scenes of things. Yeah, just so, think it must be so cool to get to build these games. It must be I so know. much fun. It's it's absolutely huge, and I can't wait to explore like the rest of the galaxy in this. Like, yeah. it's it must be one of the biggest Star Wars games. Have you like? Ugh, I just really want to continue playing this like for the rest of the day. I'd love to do that. It's fun Sadly, watching you. you <laughs> like, it's there is co-op, and you, you and your son, you did the couch co-op together, which uh, yeah must have been really fun. Uh, I did couch co-op with my girlfriend as well. Um, so like, folks who want to play this when it comes out tomorrow uh, will love to do the couch co-op themselves. Just get you. Yeah, it is good playing it with someone and like exploring it t together. I find really good fun. It is a good a good game to play with a with a friend or your yeah. kid. A hundred percent. That's what I've always done with the start of the the Lego games. Like I used to play with my sister all the time. She's a a huge nerd herself, so would be co-oping all the the lego games and just collecting all the studs and uh, most most of the time i'd be you know just killing her because sh siblings what what else can you do in a lego game <laughs> yeah. uh, i used to play with me and dougie my, my um my uh, bandmate and mcfly we used to um play together all the time it's got like i, I enjoy that like co-op games are really fun uh-huh yeah absolutely well i realized that we're coming towards the end of our time so i'm gonna get C-3PO out of this cave that I've seen yeah. to have got myself <laughs> trapped in. Um, and Lego Star Wars, yeah, it's out tomorrow. So, folks, it's if out tomorrow. you pick Go that get up, it. it's, well, I think it's Nintendo. Uh, it's on the Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch. April 5th has every single St Star Wars episode. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, and you can start either from episode 1, episode 4, or episode 7. Which is, I like that you've got that option, that you can pick which tree yeah, you Yeah, that is a cool with. option, actually. That is a really um, cool option. But, Tom, thanks for joining me on this. Like, really enjoyed chatting with you and seeing how much of a Star Wars nerd you are. It's uh, it's great to know that you're as nerdy as the rest of us. <laughs> hey, I've loved it. It's great. It's great getting to watch you play. I've enjoyed it. It's quite therapeutic when you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, because I honestly, there was some moments where I was just like, my, my brain was 
struggling hard to multitask. I may have looked like I was pulling it off, but inside it was just like right. the, well. people the force just... was the force was strong with you. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, <laughs> and yeah, thank you to everyone who tuned in and watched. Uh, and you can stay tuned up to Game Bible Facebook page for more live streams throughout the week. But until then, uh, again, Tom, thank you for joining me. No and worries. Thank you very we'll much. Catch you all, all next time. Bye. May the force be with you.